Hey guys, welcome to this video and myself Hardik Patel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to stop your birds making a lot of mess in their cage. So I got a question from one of the YouTubers. <laughs> so I got a question from one of the YouTubers that uh, my parrot is making his cage very dirty. I have to clean it twice a day. Any advice? So my basic answer for this question would be like you can't stop your birds making a lot of mess in their, in their cage because their cage is their house. Of course you can train them but it's not like your birds will become um, gentlemen 100%. Even we as a human being makes a lot of mess and we don't even realize because we use rubbish bin and uh, disposal things. So. Uh, we we have a specific system to get rid of the mess but for the birds they, they don't have that power to control those sort of things so when when you put your birds in the in their cage sometimes if they get upset or bored they, they will start playing around with the toys you you provided in the cage then they will start throwing the toys if they are really in a bad mood another thing is if you put excessive amount of food in the tray by thinking like you don't have to put uh, for a few days then it's a wrong uh, thing because uh, if if you put excessive amount of food in their trays then what will happen eventually is once they once they full once they finish eating whatever the food left they they start playing with that or they start throwing the food out of the tray and of course they make mess third thing is also depends on the design of the cage uh, if you have seen my previous videos then you might have seen my old cage uh, I had a smaller cage than this one right now so this cage is much better uh, I bought it uh, it's a little bit expensive but uh, but I found it's really really good the previous cage uh, the collecting tray ball and everything was a little bit awkward and a little bit smaller so what used to happen is my birds used to throw the food all the time and when they used to throw the food used to uh, fly out of the cage and uh, it used to be a lot of mess on the floor too whereas this cage uh, it has a tray but uh, if you see the tray, you can see the tray has uh, the outside part is a little bit higher than the inside. So when my birds throw, uh, start eating the food, uh, the food most of the time stays either inside or goes inside of the cage. So everything would be collected by this uh, uh, collect collecting tray. So it creates less mess where as the other one was having having just a round bowl which was a little bit tricky and uh, was not good enough the bars having smaller gaps whereas the old cage was having big gaps of the bars so that was the another reason that they were they were capable to throw the things out of the bars outside of the bars uh, talking about the inside then when they poo uh, of course they will make a mess and you can't control that thing because they are inside of the cage and you can't stop them uh, doing their business because uh, it's it's a natural thing so if they are either eating or if they're just playing with their toys or hanging inside of the cage it is possible on the same time they will poo and everything would go uh, pass through the uh, the tray or bars the grill and then would be collected in the collection tray what i use usually do is uh in the collection tray i just put some um, uh, papers uh, so everything would be collected on top of the papers so it will be easy to clean the collection tray uh, another thing is uh, because the grills uh, get messy with this poo uh, of course you must have to clean at least once in a m month minimum depends on the size of the cage and depends on the shape of the cage it's all uh, gets messy or less messy after upgrading from my uh, older cage to this cage I am fairly happy because in my old cage I used to clean uh, the collection tray and cage itself at least once in a day uh, twice in a day sometime whereas now the collection tray I clean once in a day but the cage once in a week or if I don't get enough time then once in a fortnight if you put heaps of amount of toys and materials and there is no gap uh, gap left uh, to pass the uh, pass through the pool then uh, it will happen the 
the poo, the shit will be collected on top of the toys and your toys eventually get messy. Uh, the, the, uh, this sort of toys are alright if you hang on, on, on the cage. The, your birds will uh, enjoy jumping on top of that and play with that, the chew. Another thing uh, I would like to talk about the food is uh, before I used to feed my birds uh, seeds, fruits and everything. What I used to do is I just used to fill up the tray with the seeds. Eventually they, they used to throw the seeds after they get full and uh, everything was collected in the collection tray which was uh, unused food and it was getting wasted but it's all right now i i started i put my birds on pellets you can check out the video links given in description below about how to switch your birds from seeds to pellets so after switching my birds from seeds to pellets the wastage of food decreased drastically because the pellets they don't waste that much they don't throw out uh, fruits if you feed your birds uh, fruits I still feed my birds fruits and veg veggies and all sorts of things but if you want to feed your birds uh, fruit then don't put whole apple or don't put whole carrot or anything slice it in small piece and just put small piece uh, into the cage into that tray so once they finish eating whole piece of uh, apple or or one grape or a small carrot or whatever then if you feel like they want to eat more then you can put another piece uh, inside in tray of course but if, what will happen if you put whole apple or whole carrot then they they will eat whatever they want to and then after they just uh, start uh, biting and throwing the pieces of the fruit that way it makes a lot of mess so these are the most of the things I wanted to cover. I'm not 100% professional, so of course I would say if you uh, disagree with my opinions or with my uh, experience, then of course you can leave the comment in comment box below and I would love to hear your comments also, your, your thinking, your opinions also. Uh, these are just my reviews. It can be helpful to you if you if you follow this uh, it may not just try uh, if if it's helpful then please also leave the comment in comment box below and I would love to hear about that too if you have any other questions or comments uh, or suggestions then please type the comments and we'll reply we'll love to hear from you too I hope I have covered most of the part so thanks for watching see you next time bye bye